Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The excuses, the media excuses, Amazon's excuses for the failure that was season one of The Rings of Power have started. And I am not even going to read this article out for a very simple reason. And I'm going to say this. The article is detritus. There is no way around it. The article is detritus. <laughs> Rings of Power Season 1 was nothing more than groundwork. Fun comes next. By the way, I have memberships and Patreon. Like, subscribe, and do all the usual stuff if you want to. Don't feel you have to. So, where do we start with this? Because I'm trying to do this with a straight face and not burst out laughing. So... The media excuses have been wild for this show, but saying season one was the groundwork is like saying a RPG video game gets fun after the first ten hours. Or, oh yeah, if you go to a restaurant, your meal will get good after you've eaten it. I, I, how clueless are these people? And people will fall for this. Like, they will. And the shills on Twitter and our wonderful toxic friend who I won't name is just, is just, dear God. Why? Why? I mean, this is excuses. This is nothing more. And we're going to start seeing this. And when they say groundwork, they're talking about world building and things like, and characterization. And season one had none of that. The world building was basic at best, characterization was non-existent, and the entire best character in the show was a made-up elven prince, a uh, dwarven princess. So, can we just say that they're desperately trying to save this because this show cannot be a failure in any way, shape, and or form for Amazon? And going by the viewing numbers, I think it says it all, really, doesn't it? Like, they had the IP. They had the Second Age to draw from. They had the complete fall of Numenor to draw from. But they chose not to. And they've written their own story in which changes the history of Middle-earth to the point that rings of uh, the Lord of the Rings cannot happen. Not just through timeline, but through little things. For example, like Guy Ladriel being the cre the one brain behind the Elven Rings of Power themselves. Oh God! Oh, and somehow surviving a volcano. I d elves are immortal, but they're not invincible. Um, <laughs> dear God. I'm trying not to cry. I try not to cry with laughter because this is just... I, 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 I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. And already, the fact that there are characters that exist in this show at the same time that died hundreds to thousands of years apart is worrying. But this is the same equivalent of saying a video game gets fun after this amount of episodes, of this amount of playtime, or the meal is good after you've eaten it, or the movie gets good at the credits. It's when they say, oh, well, the MCU movie isn't that great, but it's worth watching for the post credit scene alone. Like, seriously. So in other words, The Rings of Power was nothing more than a pilot. The entire laborious, boring, no story, no characterization, fan fiction trope heavy mess that is literally designed to appeal to every just SJW on the internet that has this <laughs> that is attempting to destroy Tolkien's legacy is a pilot. It's the pilot episode, and we're going to see more of this. Like, we're going to see this entire run of just moronic, stupid, ignorant articles that not only will make your IQ drop, but the people writing them have no IQ. Um, <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I'm trying to do this with a straight face and not laugh hysterically. So they put all this work in and this is their excuse for season one being terrible. This, 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 I mean, seriously, like this show's ratings dropped off the charts after two weeks when it finished. No one rewatched it. No one torrented this show. No one cares about it. And it's bad. I mean, there is, unless they completely throw it all away and, and reboot the whole thing, no one cares about this show. And I will be shocked at uh, what happens with season two. But I'm sure the people making excuses for this mess will keep making excuses because it has to succeed for them because diversity and representation is so stunning and brave. And, you know, you must take it to the patriarchy and destroy the legacy of an evil cis white male. I, I mean, just the moronic. Moronic. And trying not to turn this video into a rant because I could talk for an hour on this and these shill pieces and the stupidity of these people. Like, people's ignorance exists in this weird bubble. And a lot of people are very ignorant. And I, I've seen a handful of people like this show, but they all like it for the same reasons. It's really pretty. No one talks about the characters. No one talks about anything. If they do, it comes from a social justice side of things. I just... I don't know why they're even bothering at this point, And maybe it's time to just let this thing die. The slow, painful, tragic death that it did. <laughs> I know that Amazon can't really have this fail. But now, you know, it started with the shill pieces of... Well, it might... It was never intended for a wider audience. It's intended for a niche audience. Well, um, hi. I want to put this one out there. You don't do a billion dollar television series with the intention of it being watched by 20 people and their cat. I, oh my God. Like, this thing was doomed from the start. The second Christopher Tolkien died, the second they got rid of Tom Shippey, the second they hired that awful woman, I mean, this whole, <laughs> this is a mess, and this show exists after 10 years of failure by a show, a group pair of showrunners who are complete idiots, a cast that have absolutely no clue, and in fairness, probably thankful for the work, because everyone needs to pay their bills, I have no, I have no problem with that, but, I mean, oh. Excuses, excuses, excuses. It's like when you tell a child off and they've got the chocolate around their mouth and they make an excuse going, I didn't eat the chocolate. Well, of course you did. You're covered in it. Um, I just think this is... This is that one of the... Oh, God. Just, just take the show off life support. Invest this money into something original because that's obviously what they wanted to create. They had no interest in talking. They had no interest in... The Lord of the Rings or any of Tolkien's Legendarium. They just wanted to use the IP so effectively by an audience and it failed. And I've said this, the second they rewrote Tolkien to the point that it bears almost no resemblance to anything he ever wrote is the second the fans turned off. For the simple reason, this could be the best thing since sliced bread, but people who read Tolkien are not Disney Star Wars fans. They're not. They're not MCU fans. They're not. They're not the same ilk of people, and that's that's not an insult. But it's when we're, we're not talking someone who buys a couple of Spider-Man graphic novels every cup like once a year, you know. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I know this is ranty, but I just had to get this one off my chest because I've never laughed so hard in my life. And I will talk to you guys later and be a little bit more composed. <laughs> I apologize.